Well, it was a very hectic week. Um, more than once, my father has called and said he's coming out. Well, just about five minutes before I got on this call, he showed up at the door here. And I was just like, Dad, you cannot be here. I'm sorry, but you can't. I mean, he's 88 years old and he's a diabetic. You know, it's just, it's a bad thing. But, you know, he's he's got some dementia and he just can't remember that he shouldn't be out here right now. You know, amazingly enough, people's spirits are, are still very good. Um, our employees are amazing. Um, the customers, by and large, are all in pretty good spirits such an uncharted territory for everybody and as i talked to many people this week um i don't see as we're going to just open up and do things i think we're going to go into this thing very slowly when we do come past it i think restaurants will probably start at 30 percent capacity daniel's restaurant great spot by the way um he does a fantastic job. Dan Curley is just an amazing chef. He and his wife run it. Um, and they're doing four days a week from 4 to 7.30. Um, they are buying more stuff from us because they're not running Cisco trucks in and out like they normally would. Um, and fortunately, I've got some great suppliers such as Deli Boy that, you know, all I got to do is call them in an hour and they'll drop it off. Sure, we had probably about a 1,500 case order. And we got about 600. Um, and it, it, everything is on allotment now, which basically means no matter um, what you order, you're going to get sent um, a, a proportion of it so that they can take care of everybody coming out of the wholesale. Um, and, that, and that's very difficult because everybody sells different items. You know, everybody sells their staples whether it's flour, sugar, everything else. But there's little niche items that, you know, we could have used, especially going into a holiday um, that we, we didn't get and we're probably not going to get for a while. I, I'm a little concerned about some of the meat distributors at this point. We've been very fortunate uh, that we've gotten just about everything we've needed. Um, but as this continues, uh, Hat, uh, not Hatfield, Smithfield, I think, just closed the plant because they didn't have enough employees. There were enough out with with um, the coronavirus that they had to shut down, destroy product, and sanitize the entire building. And we don't know when that one will reopen.